up. Start with who you are. Hi, um, this is uh, Mark Perloff. I'm a senior producer here at Atari. Um, working on a few games, including uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures, which is a new uh, title coming out for the Switch later this year. So we're looking at Roller Coaster Tycoon on screen right now. It's well, it looks like classic RCT. Mm -hmm. uh, so just want me to jump in? Yeah, just jump right in. Oh uh, yeah, so um, RCT Adventures um, is a, a new title coming out for the Nintendo Switch later this year. Um, it's developed by um, Invisio Creations, which is a Montreal-based studio. They work with us on a few projects um, already, RCT-related. Um, RCT Joyride, which is a PlayStation VR um, roller coaster game, and then Roller Coaster Tycoon Touch, which is a mobile title. So um, some of the team that worked on the mobile title uh, moved over to work on the Switch project, so it shares some of the DNA from that project. So we like to think of sort of like the best parts of a, a mobile game in terms of accessibility, um, paired with uh, sort of classic RCT gameplay from the uh, early PC games, which you think is a really good um, sort of a match for the Switch as a platform. Um, so we're pretty far into a game here. We're on March 10th of year two. Well, oh, yeah. We're not really getting started. Uh, I'll take a zoom out and we'll see what your parking looks like. Huh? Uh, not much to it at this point. I've been using this little demo park just to give an uh, overview of the sandbox mode. This is what we're in right now. Okay. So this is, uh, you, know, you have unlimited um, cash, you have unlimited uh, access while you rise, and you have unlimited, not unlimited, but the largest park space possible. So this is really if you just want to jump in and build whatever you want without any kind of economic restrictions or thinking about how efficient your park is or how many bathrooms your park has, whatever. This is just pure, pure building. Presumably there will also be scenarios and a more challenging mode? Yes. So in addition to the sandbox mode, there will be uh, scenario modes. There will be 16 mm -hmm. scenarios. Uh, sure. Preset parks with certain conditions you need to, to complete uh, with certain restrictions, whether it's a time-based restriction or you know certain uh, types of uh, rides or park elements you can use or can't use or whatever else. So sort of puzzles. And then the uh, other mode is our adventure mode, which is, uh, you know, it's right there in the name, RCT Adventures. So it's a sort of an update of our uh, classic career mode, which has been in all the previous RCT games. So um, it takes the core of that, which is you know, building about building a park out from scratch from a small park out. You know, place more buildings, make more money, so you can further expand and expand. Um, on top of that, we're adding um, an event system. So you'll be prompted throughout your time building at your park with um, sort of, uh, tricky choices you have to make, A-B decisions. So the one we've been talking about here, actually, but I don't have it in the game, but I can show you like a, it's a screenshot I have of it. Sure. It's like a friendly bear approaches uh, the park, and it seems like... So we're kind of going SimCity 2000, kind of like a tornado hits you, but a little bit less crazy. Yeah, right now it's not quite as like out there as that. But it'll be some kind of decision that you have to have to make. Do you keep this friendly seeming bear in the park who's not causing any trouble, or do you get animal control? And then they'll I don't be think you should keep a bear in your park. That doesn't seem like a wise decision. Uh, well, you have to play and find out. Um, so, <laughs> so then uh, based off of that decision, you know there'll be some in-game ramification. There's a percentage of certain things happening dependent on the decision that you make. Um, and then, uh, as you continue playing, you'll be prompted with another event that will be based off of the decision that you made previously. So it'll be um, sort of a choose your own adventure kind of branching path. So it always starts the same way when you start the adventure, the first prompt. And then, depending on the decision you make from there, it starts splitting and branching. It's a true campaign mode. Yeah. So um, sort of the, the heart of the, of the game will feel very similar to previous um, career modes, but in addition to that, uh, this adds a little extra flavor and color, and what it really does is um, makes uh, every time you play the adventure mode unique, um, because there will be real like in-game um, uh, effects and ramifications for the decisions that you make, um, in terms of like some passive bonus to certain types of rides, or some change to terraforming maybe, or some kind of uh, uh, persistent um, in-game effect that'll then shape the way that you build at your park. I see a lot of classic rides on screen right now. We have a, a swirly slide, 
carousel in the back. I saw we got a circus tent, and then way in the back back there, we got roller coasters. Broke down. Are we gonna be able to build custom coasters in our Switch game? Uh, of course, we will be able to. Um, can, of course, um, a huge part of any roller coaster tycoon game, right, is building that crazy hyper roller coaster. That yeah, so these are all made. So scary you know, basically that everybody this, wants to not even ride it. This is a pre-made coaster, but it's made with our coaster builder. The coaster builder is still kind of in the in the shop right now. We're putting some fine tuning on it before we. Um, demo it, but it'll be ready to go um, soon. Probably the next time we demo it. Uh, soon, yeah. <laughs> is that a Valve soon, or is that like? It's, it's, it's all happening soon. We're going to be releasing this game this fall. So, so oh, when okay. We say soon, Q4. We all right. You heard yeah. it here. Q4 that, 2018, guys. Yeah, something like that. Um, so uh, yeah, I can show you a little bit of, uh, of building. So yeah, how many rides are you going to have available in the game? You know, one of the things that kind of, I go back and play Classic Roller Coaster Tycoon and Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 a lot. Mm -hmm. um, more than I should really admit. Uh, and there's not a lot of ride diversity in those yeah. games. Um, even when you start doing like more and more research, mm -hmm. um, like there's really only like 50 rides in the game. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can recolor them and things, but sure. it's not, there's no... You know, how are we going to be on, wide, on ride diversity here? Are gonna have here a lot more? we're going to have close to around 100 rides and then that's not counting you know the uh, all the restaurants and shops and coasters and decorative pieces and whatnot and then just like previous RCD games all of those um, rides will be able to color customize um, so it is it is a lot of diversity plus um, you know, we're adding some uh, additional decorative elements in this game so we're gonna have four environments this okay. is a classic environment that you're seeing right now, but we'll have a tropical environment, we'll have a canyon environment, which is like Wild West. Kind Can of I theme. have a spooky environment? I want to build a, a Halloween park. Uh, we have um, a haunted house, but we don't have a, a There is a classic spooky... roller coaster tycoon ride. Yeah, I can, I can build that for you. We don't have um, a, a haunted environment. I'll have to build my own. But we have the moon, which is, that's kind of spooky. It's the like, moon's pretty spooky. No oxygen there. You exactly. Mm -hmm. And there's like crash UFOs and stuff. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, it's totally spooky. Yeah. Uh, haunted house. So I see we have a grid system. Yes. That's nice. There's no grid system in Uncle Stakeroom, too. Yeah. So this is, a, it's all it's all built off of, a, all built off of the grid. And you can also see there's, a, there's no queue lines. So as soon as you connect the path um, to your ride, uh, Peeps can start using it. You can see the stats that it. That can you build a queue though? Say if you have a popular roller coaster. Uh, I mean, you can physically do it by building a path, mm -hmm. but um, not in the way that that it worked in previous ICT games. So a lot of our sort of design process working on this was was sort of bridging the gap between those classic games and um, more of what we did in the mobile title. So uh, we really wanted something that you know would appeal to young players, to new players, to families. While at the same time, you know, um, honoring like the devotion that people have for the classic RCT games. But you know, we didn't call this game Roller Coaster Tycoon like Five or wh wherever we are. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, this is a this is RCT Adventures. It's a separate installment in the franchise that you know uh, we think captures the spirit of those games, but mm -hmm. at the same time offers a new, more like accessible entry point for people who. Uh, and we don't have the same like amount of time to, to intricately build out a park or and that's good for know, switch right because you exactly. know switch is a console that you really pick up and kind of walk around with and you know maybe you have 10 minutes while you're waiting for the bus or exactly. you know exactly you have a half hour when you're on the airplane yeah so I, uh, I play most of my switch games in 10 minute increments to 20 minute increments and then get yeah. bored so we definitely have that in mind that we wanted it to be something that you could pick oh, back up. Oh, uh, you just built a path and a bunch of lights pop uh, up automatically. Yeah, so uh, so um, the decorative uh, uh, lights and benches and trash cans and stuff will, will auto-populate as you start building out. I won't have to build trash cans anymore? <laughs> no, but you will need to, to, uh, to add uh, janitor stations to ensure that um, your park is well-maintained. But no, you won't have to place individual trash cans. That's another one of these things. This sort of streamline. That's uh, actually quite nice because I got very tired of that <laughs> back in the day. Yeah. I mean, who didn't get tired of making sure there was a trash can every thirty feet, right? Or dropping a hundred janitors on every spot that had vomit on it. <laughs> Please tell me I won't have to clean up vomit in the Switch game. Uh, you will, but not in the same way. So it's no. a similar thing. You, it, it's uh, your janitors. As long as you can see that there is a. a 
grid oh, here showing where again, they cover. We're, we're going Sim City coverage with yeah. police and fire. Then, okay. Yeah. So, so um, you know, all these things will show you the radius in which they, um, you know, have an effect. Uh, so, um, instead of like micromanagement, you're going to be making sure that you have your utility buildings placed properly throughout your park. Oh, I like um, that. That's yeah. nice. So a lot of the games the same sort of kind of um, spirit of the older games where you are going to be making sure that you have enough rides to satisfy all the different types of peeps who are going to be in your park. Some who have different preferences about what kind of rides they like, what kind of food they like. So it's a matter of having a good diversity of, of those um, buildings to satisfy the needs of all your peeps, but at the same time having the uh, requisite services to make sure that they don't they're not peeping all over the place because there are too many nausea-inducing rides. Can we see some of the scenario mode? Uh, they're kind of like... Uh, still in the kitchen right now. The, the main thing we're showing right now is the sandbox. What I can show is um, a more fully built out Sure. Sandbox. I'd love to see a more fully sure, uh, more fully built out. That's the switch dev menu. Sure is. Nah, that menu and I are not friends. <laughs> are, you, are you working on switch games? Uh, I am helping. Yeah, I'm, I do a little narrative design in my spare time. Oh, cool. So, so don't look at this. This is all placeholders. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Should see what our, you should see what ours looks like. It's bad. Yeah, and this you're going to see that the, this will take a pretty significant frame rate hit. Um, this is a fully built up park, but uh, when the game launches, it's going to be uh, 1080p at um, 30 frames per second when it's docked, and 720p at 30 frames per second um, handheld. Awesome. So for a game like this, that'll be nice and smooth. So I'm curious about terrain editing. Um, one of my kind of favorite things to do in later World Coaster Tycoon games, I think the last one was RCT4. I think was the last one we really got. That was like a serious game that uh, let you edit terrain, and you could kind of run your roller coaster through like an underground path if you wanted mm -hmm. to. Are we going to see that kind of stuff here, or is that all kind of a little more in-depth? Uh, it's. I think the way that you are envisioning it is a little more in-depth than what we have here, but we do have um, terraforming in that you're able to create um, hills and um, vegetation and uh, waterways, but you can't like build around and through it. So I'll, I'll show you in a second. Cool. Yeah. This, it takes a, takes a few minutes to load up this big park. Woo. So this is our uh, tropical oh, environment. It's beautiful, yeah. It's yeah, so you can huge. See, yeah. yeah, I know you guys can't see this on screen. Presumably, <laughs> presumably you'll be, I can find some B-roll somewhere. Right? Uh, we'll just put um, your voice over top of the B-roll. Okay. Um, this is, yeah, I mean, so I mean, this clearly take, this would take, you know, someone take weeks to design, right? Something like that, yeah. Our, our, our tasks are developers with, with building out this one. Um, you can see it's frame rate isn't where we need it to be, but it, it'll give you sort of a feel. This, so this is like the kind of terraforming I'm talking about of the, this uh, river that's running through the whole thing, and then um, this forest is here, and then I can also over here build like a little bit of um, some uh, like desert, like dune kind of things. So terraforming in a sense of in a limited sense, in, in uh, elevation and uh, of course bushes and, and, and biomes, but not uh, not we're not going to be making big mountains to run our roller coasters through. Correct. Yeah. But I think it's, it's still still offers a number of like uh, but uh, it's customization still, options. We're talking about a Switch game here, right? Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> we can only do so much with the available hardware. Like so there we go. We just added a sand dune. Exactly. And uh, so you can make that of any kind of um, width and thickness. So it has a lot of you know depth uh, and uh, personalization to. Sandbox mode park you're building. I see or, uh, numbers popping up. Those would be money we're getting, I suppose. Exactly. So it's your passive income from your different rides. Um, How did you balance the difficulty that this game tends to come with? I mean, plenty of people who play Roller Coaster Tycoon know that it's easy to get in a hole. Yes. And and your park just and you're done. Like it's yep. time to go start a new park because you you ended up you're done. <laughs> like, so that's it. You're out. Yeah. So we actually. Um, the developers put a lot of work into to basically ensuring that that does not happen. So this uh, the economy here is sort of less punitive than previous versions of the game. So you actually can't go bankrupt in oh, this game. Nice. So it's uh, it's really a matter of um, if you find efficiencies and set the right prices and, and perfectly lay out your park, you're going to make more money and you're going to advance more quickly. But if you don't do that and you're just messing around or you don't have things quite as efficiently laid out as you could, you're just going to make less money 
and it'll be a but slower progression. Out of money. But you never run out of money. So it's really about rewarding you for, for finding those efficiencies, but not punishing you if you take a different path. How do I get that cheat code for real life? <laughs> Ah, if I find it, I'll let you know. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna hold you to that. Yeah. So, um, um, again, it, it's really sort of like we don't want someone to jump in and start building out a park and then realize that it's not working and to start from scratch. We want it. We want you to really be incentivized to continue building by um, um, keeping you going. And then, like, you're like, I'm not going as fast as I want. And then you, you know, move the building from here to here, and you, just, you put the price down to this, and put the price up to that. And you can see the feedback of exactly what um, is happening in your park, and you can see what people are reacting to and not reacting to, and then um, you know your park will grow. I see some rides I don't recognize on this side here. We've got some floating bananas yep. and uh, something that looks like a wave. Yeah. So this is our banana tycoon. Um, new spinner here, and this is a tropical themed ride, like fit for for this. So there are some rides themed directly to the various park environments. Yes, and this this one as well. Um, so in addition to certain rides that are themed for for each park environment, there's decorations that are themed for each environment Palm as well. Trees, yeah, exactly. Pirate stuff. But it doesn't prevent you from using that ride in any any um, environment. But it's so just... I can put palm trees in my desert if I want to. Okay, yeah, sure. It's your prerogative. It's your park. Um, you can put palm trees on the moon. Whatever you want to do. Um, so all those all those uh, rides and decorations are, are just at your disposal, especially in a in a sandbox mode. Everything is from the start. Cool. So research, I see there is a research tab over there. So there will be research in the scenarios then and in uh, the main campaign, but not in the sandbox mode. Obviously. Exactly. Yeah. So um, yeah. So that'll be part of the, the sort of primary uh, uh, loop of the game is using research to to unlock new rides and. Um, further expand and build out your parks. So, like what you would expect from an RCT game, a lot of it is it's, it's all there. It's just um, you know sort of streamlined in ways that um, and updated in ways that we think are a great fit for for the platform. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, cool. Yeah, me too. Anything else you want to tell me? Uh, so this comes out um, later this year. We'll have more details about um, release date, price point, that kind of stuff um, in the coming months.